what we're going to do is we're going to focus here and talk about talk about transmission circlips. We're going to talk about these guys here that we have uh, on this on this transmission here and the proper uh, techniques. We said in class so far there's two different things we really need to consider. <clears throat> Can't stress enough that these circlips have a chamfered edge on there and you can see here where it says thrust load. So what we want is 100% real estate as this gear gets pushed on to be engaged by the, the ears of the gear next to it or as the shift works move things around, we're going to put a lot of force on that and we want the flat square edge against the spline slot on the transmission shaft to have the most amount of real estate that we talked about so that's fully supported. If we put this the other way and we have that chamfered edge against that, when we push a thrust load on this, the circlip can walk off and then uh, create havoc in there. So we don't want that, right? Okay, let's go to the bottom part here. We're going to talk about and show an example of an improperly installed one too. What you'll see here on the good is that these, these raised splines here, one, two, three, four, five, six, all have a circlip part of this fully around them. You'll notice the gap is in between there, but the raised portions are fully supported. What they're showing here is that you have an actual spline that is unsupported. I'll look backwards here. And it's barely catching the edge right there of the raised part, and it's just a little bit across there. It's just not the ideal placement, right? So let's look at an actual shaft. We're going to show it wrong. All right, we'll go ahead here. This in. We're just gonna lightly, okay, drag this around. How's that look? Good. Okay, so you can see here we're fully supported, and of the the splines themselves, we don't have any gaps. So. Guys, every transmission out there, we noticed in the Suzuki manual they did not specify this. They did specify the chamfer, and I told you real confidently that I've seen that in every single manual. This is the Honda Common Manual, I think it's a great technique that we could use on anything in addition to the flat side being installed correctly to uh, fully support the splines there. Good stuff. Every mechanic should know.